Snoqualmie Summit Series Peak Training Trails. The Mountains to Sound Greenway from Issaquah, extending over Snoqualmie Pass, I-90, is home to a plethora of trail accessible dramatic peaks. Welcome to Best of the Northwest. Why train solely doing laps on Mount Si when you can build up fitness and mountain skills exploring each of these peaks? Here is the progression of our favorite peak training trails along the corridor, starting with the easiest to most difficult in terms of distance and elevation gain. Check recent trip reports for trail conditions on the Washington Trails Association website before you go. One, Mount Catherine, two and a half miles, 1300 foot elevation gain. Gain 360 degree wraparound views of the I-90 corridor over Snoqualmie Pass from Mount Catherine. The trail begins its climb immediately, short but sweet, under a mile and a half and 1300 foot elevation gain. The last short steep section leads to the top out on a narrow ridge summit. Behold a steep drop off high above Cachillas Lake and views of Mount Rainier to greet you on a clear day. Two, Snoqualmie Mountain, three and a half miles, 3,100 foot elevation gain. The Snoqualmie Mountain sits on the northeastern flanks of the I-90 corridor with panoramic views above Alpental and Lake Cachillas. Sharing the Alpental parking lot with the ever popular Snow Lake Trail, climb through brush alder over a rock garden of a trail until reaching steep switchbacks in Douglas fir filled forest. The nature of the trail is steep and rugged. Not too much farther up, the route clears the tree line. Views abound the rest of the way to the summit. Gaze down on the tombstone-shaped Guy Peak and across Snoqualmie Pass ski areas. I-90 far below snakes by along Lake Cachillas. Three, Mailbox Peak. And my thanks to everybody who's joining us this morning. Our really close to our heart, iconic Mailbox Peak Trail. Done. <laughs> Woo! Seven and a quarter miles, 4,000 foot elevation gain. With the reputation of being relentlessly steep, rising 4,000 feet in just two miles, Mailbox Peaks Climbers Trail is a popular training trail for bigger mountain objectives. The new trail covers the climb in longer, more gradual switchbacks and is easier on the knees. Combine the two for a nice loop route. The Pleasant Grade Trail starts meandering by a stream before beginning the steep switchbacks up the old climber's trail, which reveals the character of the rest of the ascent. The summit features the famous mailbox. Look inside, you never know what you might find. On the descent, look for the start of the new gray trail to the right a half mile from the summit. This new addition gives more options for the already classic mailbox peak hike. Four, Granite Peak, 8.6 miles, 3,800 foot elevation gain. Climb to the old Granite Mountain Fire Lookout on the high western side of Snoqualmie Pass. The trail climbs at nearly 1,000 vertical feet per mile. Be cautious crossing the lower avalanche chute, especially in winter through springtime. High above I-90, the upper slopes have a pristine alpine feel. Early season route conditions at higher elevations vary from snow covered to exposed granite blocks. Ascend the steepening granite blocks or snow fields along the ridge to the fire lookout at the summit. Mount Si, eight miles, 3,150 foot elevation gain the backyard mountain hike of Western Washington's urban corridor. Mount Si rises precipitously above North Bend, beckoning hikers. Be sure to come early or on weekdays. This is one of the most popular hikes in the region. Starting in the woods over a few small bridges, the trail quickly steepens to the grade of nearly 900 vertical feet per mile. Most of the switchbacks and length of the trail under the canopy of evergreen trees 
heighten the anticipation of the Upper Talus Field and Haystack Summit Rock. Views to the north and Mount Rainier can be found within a half mile of the summit. Parties that complete the Haystack Scramble to reach the rocky summit are rewarded with views across the Puget Sound and up the Greenway to Snoqualmie Pass Peaks, making this a repeat route for many in western Washington. Number five, alternate Mount Tenerife. The lesser known sister of Mount Sai, Mount Tenerife, offers a steep scenic climb up past Kamikaze Falls on the route grab Kamikaze Trail. Take the logging road back for a nice loop outing. Six, McClellan Butte, nine miles, 3,800 feet gain. McClellan Butte is a bit of a misnomer. McClellan Peak or Spire would be more descriptive. This hike is steep, sustained, and ends with a rocky scramble to the true summit, revealing dramatic views of Snoqualmie Pass to the North Bend Greenbelt. The trail starts from the loop parking lot through trees, switchbacks often, and has several road crossings. Continue up through the switchbacks that offer occasional openings and views along the way, before cutting back steeply into the tree canopy. The final stretch traverses the breadth of the mountain and wraps around the southern tip of the peak above the protected Cedar River watershed. The final exposed rocky scramble leads to the true summit. Seven, Silver Peak. A Beale Peak and Tinkham Peak, 2,900 feet gain. Centrally located on Snoqualmie Pass, Silver Peak can be seen from both sides of I-90 and can be approached from three directions. Neighbors A Beale and Tinkham Peaks can also be accessed from the Cold Creek side or the Muir Lake side, connecting to a stretch of the Pacific Crest Trail that crosses underneath the broad steep face of Tinkham Peak past the picturesque Tinkham Tarns. Keep your eyes out for a sharp left marked by rock cairns, not a labeled sign. This upper trail connects to summit trail access to Tinkham, Abiel, and Silver Peaks. The Silver Peak Trail ascends open switchbacks onto the rocky summit far above the Snoqualmie Summit Nordic Trails and Annette Lake below. The Tinkham Peak Trail climbs steeply through dense trees and rocks before revealing views of the Cedar River watershed, which supplies water to Seattle and the rugged Norse Peak Wilderness to the south. Number eight, Defiance and Bandera, 11 miles, 4,840 foot elevation gain. Named after the Northwest hiking legend, the immensely popular, and rightly so, Ira Spring Trail climbs from the I-90 corridor to alpine hillsides, lakes, and peaks. Woo-hoo! Beautiful, beautiful morning. Make Mason Lake the destination. Or connect both peaks and beyond. There's something for everyone on this Snoqualmie Greenway Classic. Nine, Rampart Ridge, Alta Peak. 12 miles, 3,300 foot gain. From the often crowded trailhead, hike along Box Canyon Creek to Rachel Lake. From Rachel Lake, the grade <laughs> steepens, ascending Rampart Ridge. Hang a left to Rampart Lakes, or right through tarn-filled Rampart Lakes Basin below Box Top Peak. Follow the dramatic and at times exposed ridge trail to the well-marked Summit Cairn. Rampart Lakes. Ten. Kaliton Peak, 
11.6 miles, 4,500 foot gain. The roar of I-90 far above quickly dissipates as you enter a world of deep green forests, waterfalls, mountain lakes, and craggy peaks. Take in alpine lakes and mountains from this high perch. A summit marker points to distinctive summit views. Baker, Glacier, Stewart, and Rainier. You can even catch a glimpse of downtown Seattle past Mount Sun. Return on the South Ridge Trail, which descends the third class scramble before climbing again to 5,700 feet with sweeping views of Chair Peak and the Tooth, before winding down through rock crevices and berry patches back into the Malakwa Lake Basin, where you might consider a cool down. Set a goal to complete the series and earn your Snoqualmie Summit Series Peak Trails Collector's Badge. So lace, strap, buckle on your footwear, and let's get out the door and explore the best of the Northwest. <laughs>